Hello, my name is Katherine Drummond from Gingerbread Girl Designs, and today's tutorial is on the overcast stitch for Punto Antico embroidery. Now the overcast stitch is the stitch right along here that secures the fabric threads from these uh, openwork areas. And it's very important to do this overcast stitch properly so that the all of the fabric threads that are cut from these open work areas are secured in the back and don't come loose. As you can see, I've cut an area here that I'm going to work um, a filling in. And now I need to stitch the overcast stitch to uh, secure all of these cut fabric threads. Once you cut your fabric threads, you leave them all there. You don't cut them off um, right to the edges of the cutwork area. You want to secure them in the back so that they um, never come loose. So the first thing that I like to do is turn the work over to the back and um, wrangle the threads a little bit so that they behave the way that I want them to. So you can see the fabric threads on the back of the work. You can tell this is the back of the work because it doesn't look like four-sided stitches. It looks like big cross stitches. And you can see all my finished threads in the back. Um, what I like to do is I like to separate the threads into um, sort of quadrants and finger press all of the fabric threads towards a corner. So sorry, this is wiggling around some, but um, you want to get them pressed sort of so that they're towards the corner like this. And if you want to, you can baste these down. Um, and if you use a thread that matches your fabric thread color, then you don't have to take the basting stitches out afterwards. But for a small piece like this, I don't usually um, baste them. So as you can see, I am holding those fabric threads on the back of the work so that they are um, swooped towards the corner. And now I'm going to stitch over them. I've come up four fabric threads out from the cutwork area. And in Punto Antico embroidery, this overcast stitch is always over four fabric threads. And I'm just going to sew what's basically a satin stitch over these fabric threads. And you want to make sure that the stitch sits where it's supposed to and it doesn't wander up or down from there. For this particular piece, I'm using a 32 count fabric, which means that the fabric has 32 threads per inch. And the thread that I'm using for my overcast stitch is a number eight pearl cotton. And because you want to make sure that those threads on the back are secure, this thread, this stitch, pardon me, uh, is quite tight. It's almost a pulled stitch. And you wanna make sure that you're checking the back of your work quite often to make sure that you're catching all of those fabric threads on the back. So you can see on the back of the work here that I am catching all of those fabric threads as I'm stitching these overcast stitches. As you get to the corner, you're going to stitch all the way in so that you are four fabric threads into the corner as well so that when you turn the corner you you'll be at the right place to stitch the uh, overcast stitch on the other side as you can see 
I've stitched right into the corner here and uh, I can tell because for this particular design the four-sided stitch and the overcast stitch lines up so it lines up with this four-sided stitch and it lines up with this four-sided stitch so now we've once we've gotten to the corner all we have to do is turn our work 90 degrees and then continue doing the overcast stitch down this side And again, you're going to want to make sure that you're checking the back of your work quite often to make sure that you're catching all of those cut fabric threads as you stitch. Because you may have more fabric threads at the back of the work um, in the corner, you may have to pull those stitches a little bit harder to fit all of the corner stitches in so that it looks neat. As you can see, I have finished the overcast stitch all the way around. All that's left to do now is to finish off the thread ends in the back of the work. I'm just going to slide the needle under a few of these overcast stitches and be careful not to disturb those fabric threads that we so carefully secured. You can see that they're pretty well secured all the way around. All that's left sticking out are the very ends. And once you've secured your thread ends here, you can take a pair of embroidery scissors and you can snip those off. going to snip that thread end there and you can carefully clip these off making sure not to cut any of your overcast stitches and that is the overcast stitch it is a good idea to practice this on a smaller piece like this scissor fob or on um, a scrap piece of fabric that you have to make sure that you are getting your tension even. It takes a little practice to get that. So uh, enjoy the stitch and enjoy Punto Antico embroidery and I hope you found this um, tutorial useful for you. Happy stitching!